Right, so this apparently has got no power. Let's isolate it. Let's not be stupid. Let's turn it round. <laughs> Let's turn it round so we can actually uh, plug the thing in, shall we? All right. Well, this is probably a power supply. Oh, hang on. I'm a fucking idiot. I'll give up. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. All right, well, it's still probably a power supply. The code of the entertainer. Tom454 just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Tom. Twitch is a VIP stream. <laughs> All right, so this is probably a power supply issue. So this has got no power. It's been sent in by a customer on YouTube or a customer through YouTube. And it might be a power supply issue. It might just be straightforward. But we'll see. Okay, so it's been open before. Let's get into it, shall we? Uh, right, so I want to check for some voltage rails before I go any further so when I'm working on a PS5 I'm I pretty much have a sequence of what I check for and if anything doesn't check out then I stop the sequence and obviously investigate what doesn't check out so when I can find the multimeter the multimeter seems to have run off because I keep telling it to shut up uh, unfortunately I've got to use this multimeter the one that beeps loud and um, what not because a battery blew my multimeter up don't know how that's possible when it was only putting out seven and a half volts unless it's gone into some sort of under voltage protection mode I don't know but um, yeah so I've got to use this multimeter Elvis thank you dude Elvis 7755 just resubscribed for three months thank you mate I appreciate that right so yeah I'm in voltage mode then I'll have to read out what these say and yeah we're getting nothing on the power supply so I'm gonna say that this is probably just the power supply this looks like it's completely short all right well this is gonna be a quick fix then by the look of it Phil do you have a download link for PC um, it should be in the description mate the tip link in the description is what builds that up um, I've got everything apart from the um, I've got everything apart from the motherboard and CPU now. Three, you, you, three really tried to put the power cord in, into the front. That is very true. <laughs> right. Okay. So right, this has been shut up, multimeter, you prick. Who asked you? Now, this is a bit odd because this is been out so is it a case where the power supply is failed and then someone else is wrong I feel the power charges have gone up everything is connected to politics it is but we just don't talk about it yet. it's too controversial and honestly politics are boring sorry but politics are boring I have absolutely no interest in politics I don't vote I don't plan to vote I don't plan to plan to vote right okay let's give this a test and then I'm gonna faff around with the power supply for five minutes um, but honestly probably not gonna be able to fix the power supply to be honest because um, yeah I suck at power supply repairs don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing I'm sorry how about talking about how nuclear war is coming no nope, don't want to know right well it's the power supply do we have any display we do boom there we go right okay so I am literally sweating my head off 
I'm genuinely dying. It's the temperature is slowly starting to drop. It's 35 now. Hot enough for everybody. Too bloody hot. Oh, I wish it was raining. Is this a PS4 from last night? It's not, mate. No, this is uh, a customer's and it's a power supply issue. Um, right, so. Didn't disturb the liquid metal, so I don't need to faff around with that. Which means we can just put it back together and be done with it. So the PS is done. Um, let's just make sure it still turns on. It does. So, the PlayStation turns on, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to have a quick nose at this power supply. Probably not going to be able to fix it, let's be realistic, but I am sending one of these to Steve B, and he's going to figure out what's going on with them, because he does know what he's doing with power supplies, whereas I don't. So, he's going to figure it out, and then I've got about five or six power supplies which I need to repair, because they all seem to have the, um, the same issues. So, yeah, that turns on, we've got the white light. Um... I did check the display already, so I will give that a full test tomorrow. Um, but I do know it works, so yeah. Conan, Conan just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Conan. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, so don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying the stream, ladies and gents. So yeah, that's done. Let's see if we can't blow ourselves up with a power supply, shall we? How about that? Nice and hot in there. Oh, mate, this is hotter than your missus' ass, and that's saying something. Just don't tell Sarah I said that, though, Cyril. She don't mind. She likes to share. That's a link for HDMI encoded chips on eBay. They're cheap knockoffs. What are cheap knockoffs, mate? Do you mean PS5 HDMI encoders? I've got some genuine HDMI encoders for PS5s. For your coffee fun, don't waste it on the computer. <laughs> Nono Felicio super chatted ten dollars and seventy three cents for your coffee fund. Don't waste it on the computer. Sneering face. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. <laughs> Andy, how's it going, mate? Hey, Mr. Wayne's here. Um, guys. Do a fellow technician a favour. Wayne has got a channel. He's got a very interesting video coming up where he uh, kind of screwed up a little bit on a um, on a MacBook. So if you could be so kind as to check him out, I'm posting a link in chat to his channel. Just check him out, give him a follow, and then yeah. Show him some love. He's awesome. Right, okay. Let's get into this thing then. So, this is going to be rather tricky. Because these are incredibly tight to open up. I'm going to say this. I shouldn't have to say this by now. Don't mess with the power supply. They're fucking dangerous. This has already been opened. So this one might be a little bit easier to get into. Don't mess with the power supply, they're dangerous. I do this just to feed my curiosity. I've got to try and get into the damn thing. It doesn't really matter if I break the case. But don't try this at home, people. Unless you want a shock. And if you do get a shock, make sure you get it on film. Because I'm going to laugh my bollocks off if you do all right i'm gonna laugh my head off bang and fill is done yep yes yeah, so this one's easier to get into be careful oh, no 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 don't touch capacitors with your tongue pro tip good advice there mate doesn't really matter if i break the case i'll try not to Alright, so we're in. Got another video incoming, I'll get belted twice. Nice. 
an unplugged PSU isn't dangerous. Um, we, technically, it is, mate. If you if you've got any underlying heart condition, this can kill you. So yeah, technically it is. Right, we've got a big capacitor here. Although that doesn't appear to have any charge in it. It's 0 0.142 volts. So we've got no voltage in there. And just to make sure, I'm going to short them leads out. But yeah, that's got nothing going through it. But there's a reason I installed this switch. And that is so I can isolate it. So as I can safely plug it in while we've got these pins exposed here. So I can safely plug that in now. There's that multimeter, yeah. So now I can turn it on, and now it's live, okay? Now it is live. That's the wrong orientation. So these, these terminals here and there where this IECC 7 cable comes in is live, and that is 240 volts AC. Interesting, that's not that's not charging anything. Nothing at all is charging there. And that's not getting warm either. Alright. Oh, hang on. Isolate that. Why are we not getting power? Because this isn't the same as a normal This isn't the same as a normal power supply issue, so do we get continuity on the fuse? We do, but it's broken. Okay, the fuse is broken. Well, that would explain why we're getting no power. So this looks like it's gone a little bit kaboom on this power supply. So, if you look, let me pop under the scope and I'll show you. Go on. There we go. So here's where power comes in. So you've got 240 volts AC coming in, or 110, 120, whatever country you're in, but this is where it comes in. And then it goes straight from there to this fuse. And this fuse is an 8 amp, uh, 250 volt. I think these are, are these fast blow fuses? I don't know. But that is pretty much bamboozled look. That's actually burnt off. That hasn't snapped off. That's burnt off. Someone's had this hit by lightning, I would assume, and it's just literally fried the fuse. So the fuse is working. The fuse is good, technically, but it's completely broken. So what we should be able to do is desolder where the fuse comes in so get rid of this solder from this part here and we should just be able to solder that fuse back on but then it's a question of whether it's got any other issues so I'm going to turn on my soldering iron right let me get some solder and we fix that then uh, I'll show you now so what I want to do is just add some leaded solder to this In fact, that's pretty badly soldered as well. So add some leady solder there. And then I should just be able to clean that up by wicking it away. Kind of looks like a pore. 
there we go so now I should be able to just push the fuse back in let's just see if it's come through this side Wayne has been a member for 15 months show us your boobs why not alright so I'll push that back in there so that's come through the hole There we go. That's soldered. So that fuse now should be good. Let's clean that up. It's a manufacturing defect. Do you reckon it is? This is why I like to have a look at the, the uh, power supplies because you don't know what it's going to be it could just be something simple so I am going to reinforce this because we've got a little bit of burning on the other side so I'm going to reinforce it a little bit fuse was never in the hole to start with do you reckon? It's the first time I've come across it. So yeah, there we go. So if we reinforce that with a little bit of solder that side as well. And uh, and yeah, it's pretty much done. Hopefully it's going to work now fingers crossed because then like I say I can just charge the customer well two thirds of the price really so a lot of people would have just thrown that away but if you're competent in where you're putting your fingers and whatnot if you're not clumsy we I add underscore Joe just subscribed on Twitch thank you uh, continuing the Gifted sub they got from Archie Golden. Nice. Hey, Mr. Kennedy's here. All right. Shut up, phone. If everything turns black, it was Phil. <laughs> right. So isolated that power switch. So there's nothing going through at the minute. We keep our hands and face well clear, just in case it goes kaboom. In fact. Before we switch that on, let's put it back in the casing. And then once we've got it in the casing, I can test 12 volt output that's going to be the safest way to test it if you don't fix it then shit happens but it should do there we go so there's that bang all right so now let's pop into voltage mode Trying to get it so you guys can see. There we go. Uh, so, zero volts. That's the wrong polarity. 12.05. That'll do me. So, that power supply is now working. And now I don't need to charge the customer as much because, well, I can just reuse this power supply. So, yeah. There we go. Happy, happy days. Cool. So that will go back into my pile and I don't need to charge a customer as much for the repair. <laughs> 